Hello, and thank you so much for tuning in to the She Can Ball podcast. I'm your host, Mahi Jariwala. Today, we're joined by Tacey Whedon of the St. Mary's women's basketball team. I would also like to give a huge shout out to the Girls Republic for sending me this amazing t-shirt to wear in today's podcast episode. If you want to check it out, as well as all their amazing merchandise, I will leave a link in the story notes. I appreciate you coming on today. Of course. So kind of going back to the beginning of your basketball career, how did you get into basketball? Um, Well, I started playing basketball when I was like four years old. Um, My mom has been my coach throughout like my entire like basketball career. Um, She was my coach in high school. So um, I went to a private Catholic school in Oregon um, because she was the coach there. And so Um, once I got into that school, I like, I don't know, I, I really started to become serious with basketball, I think, um, in high school. And I really wanted to get better and hopefully, um, get good enough to where I could earn like a scholarship to play in college. Um, so I think that's when I really started getting serious and my mom, um, has helped me a lot through that. And I think she like inspired me to really like get better and dedicate a lot of time to basketball. So I've been playing for a while. (laughs) Yeah, and you know, high school, you were a four-year starter, led your team to four state championships. What do you think made you so successful all four years of high school? Um, I think just dedicating time. I think um, practice and getting in the gym is one thing, but like doing all of the work outside of it as well. Um, And I think I had trainers and other coaches to help me through that. Um, I had a lot of good like weights coaches. I did this program um, in Oregon near my high school that really helped me get into like weight training and doing other things like outside of basketball that could help me be successful. Um, And just like having good people around me, like my family, um, I mentioned my mom, my two younger sisters who are serious with basketball now. um, And then just like my teammates and friends who also play basketball, um, just like getting motivated from that and being inspired by that really helped. Do you think like working on weights and like working on strength and conditioning like a little bit earlier, do you think that helped you? Yeah, I do for sure. I think weight training is like a big, big thing um, in college basketball now. Like I, this, these past like six weeks, um, my college team has been training and honestly, like most of the hours spent are in the weight room. Um, and I think that like contributes so much to on the court, just like injury prevention stuff, um, just getting stronger so that you're able to be on the court and be in like the best shape that you can be in. So, yeah, I think starting early and knowing like the proper form and techniques to weight training is really important. Yeah, because I've talked about this before on the podcast and a lot of people kind of go into college and it's just like a lot of strength and conditioning work and you don't always do that in high school. Um, And I also think like there's a big focus on just specific skill work, especially for like younger players. And I'm definitely I'm a victim of that. But I think it is more important. I think we're seeing that more now and people are getting more involved with that early on. So, yes, for sure. It's really it's good when you have like a coach who wants to help you through that, like. I don't think it's smart for girls to start doing it with like no background knowledge of like weight training or like proper techniques and form because then it can get like kind of dangerous. So yeah, I think having someone there to help you through that is um, beneficial. Yeah, I think even just motivating mm-hmm. you to do that because I think like for me, I prefer skill work because it's just more tangible. If you do that and you feel mm-hmm. like you're going to get better and you know it's going to help you directly in the game, but with doing weights and like doing conditioning and doing strengthening work like you don't always it's not like as direct as like working yeah. on your shot or working on your handles so exactly yeah and you know you're an amazing three-point shooter broke the Oregon all-time girls three-point shooting record you've been shooting around 40 percent from the three-point line during your three years at St. Mary's so far what makes you such a strong three-point shooter um again I think just like reps I think at um, a young age, I learned that like, if you want to be good at something like you, it's like cliche, but you really have to work at it. Like I was in the gym with my mom or a trainer, like, I don't even know, like just countless hours, um, just getting up reps, like shooting multiple hours in a day. Um, and like now, you know, it's kind of, I kind of say like, it's like muscle memory now. Like I just, I've practiced it so much that like, I just, I'm confident now. Like I, 
you know, I have my rhythm and I have my form that I do, you know, every day. So I think it's just a confidence builder if you just get in and like get the reps up and practice. How many shots do you think you shoot a day right now? Well, right now I am actually recovering from like a knee surgery. So I just got a knee surgery two months ago. So I haven't been shooting as much. I've kind of been rehabbing my knee lately, but, um, before, um, I mean, I don't know on in high school, I know that I was at least getting 500 makes up, um, every couple days, not every single day. Like I tried to stay after practice and shoot, of course, but um, I think as many as you can, like, just, if you have a rebounder, like just get in the gym, shoot as many reps as you can, um, in order to get better at what you want to do. Yeah. I think one thing about you is you're so consistent and like, have you ever gone through st- stretches where like, you're not shooting as well? And how do you get through that? Yeah, definitely. I think like, I mean, everyone goes through those, um, you know, struggles in their basketball career or whatever sport it is. Um, definitely as a shooter, you go through days where you're totally off. Um, and I think like I've gotten confidence from, um, my coaches, uh, my coach Thomas right now at St. Mary's, um, he tells me to keep shooting. So, you know, if I miss a couple, um, I try not to get in my head, but it's good having those people around you that are like, they have confidence in you. So they're like, you know, keep shooting don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, it does like, there's obviously pressure. Like, um, I want to make my shots. I know that I can, but you know, when you have those off days, um, I just try not to get in my head. I try to just keep shooting, shoot the next shot. Don't worry about the miss. Yeah. Yeah. I think that can be really, really hard just to like learn how to stay that, like stay composed. And I think I talk about it a lot, like just being, learning that mental game and learning how to like stay composed can be so hard. Yes, for sure. Mental, like mental toughness is a huge thing, especially in college. Like you have to be mentally tough, like, and do the hard things in order uh, to come out on top and be successful. So. Yeah. And like you're playing in a whole bunch of different gyms and different States and stuff. Like it's a really whole different change of like scenery and just of everything. So. Yes, for sure. It's awesome. I love it though. It's been great so far. Yeah. And, you know, extremely successful high school career, great college career so far. Like you talked about like a knee surgery, but like, what are some other hardships you had to overcome? Um, well, for me, I think um, being so close with my family who lives in Oregon, um, I think coming into college my freshman year was just a hardship in itself. I think freshman year for any college athlete is difficult um, being away from home, um, your family, and I think just adjusting to the new lifestyle and um, like college experience in general, like college basketball is so different than high school and you can't, you can prepare, you know, as much as you can, but you won't really know how it feels until you get there and until you experience like your first practice or your first game. Um, So I think just like freshman year in general was a difficult adjustment for me. But again, I had people around me, the St. Mary's community like has been so great. um, And I feel like at home now. So it's been really good. What do you think is like one of the main differences between high school and college basketball? Um, I think just the pace and intensity. I think girls are just obviously it's a completely different level. It's, um, girls are just stronger again, like weight training, um, uh, they put such a big emphasis on that in college that I don't think high school girls really get the, um, experience in, um, early. So I think going into it freshman year, like weight training was a huge thing. And I kind of had to relearn a lot of the things, um, that the other girls were doing. So, yeah, I think it's just like, it's much more intense. Like the practices are fast paced and, you know, everyone, everyone is good at that level, you know, like you can be playing like a bad team, but like you can still lose, you know, like, it's just, it's just a completely different level. So, yeah. Yeah. I like how you talk about like not really being able to prepare. I think when you think about basketball games, like it's almost impossible to be, to be like 100% prepared for anything. Cause you think about like school, like let's say you're doing a math test. If you know the concepts well, like you're going to be fine. Cause like, you know, what's expected of you, but like with basketball, it's like, no matter how much you prepare, like you have to go in. It's, 
it's going to be different and you have to like react in that situation exactly. whatever it may be yes exactly so true how did you end up at St. Mary's um St. Mary's was actually I think they were one of my first offers in high school um they saw me play at one of the tournaments um and so I kind of just had been talking to them um, throughout my high school career. Um, I ended up tearing my ACL my junior year of high school. And sometimes like when, you know, girls or boys or anyone like gets injured, I think before they enter college, like some college coaches fall off or you guys kind of lose contact just because of a big injury like that. They, you know, can think, oh, maybe she won't recover or something like that. So St. Mary's was actually... Um, one of the schools that like really stayed in contact with me and they were really like serious about me and I really like admired that about them um, I thought that was really cool and I ended up going on my visit my senior year of high school um, and I just like I loved like the atmosphere um, I love the team the um, location of St. Mary's is just like beautiful I love living in Moraga um, and so I think just it just felt like home. It felt like similar to my high school um, feel. So that's how I ended up at St. Mary's. I'm really happy here. So yeah. Yeah. And like going through like a big injury or junior year, like take us through that. Like, how is that like, not only like that recovery process and how did you end up getting back on the court? Yeah. So my junior year was right. It was right after we won the state championship, my junior year. Um, and after tearing it, I think obviously it like that was my first like big injury I've ever had. So I didn't really know what to expect going into it. Um, I was really devastated at first, but um, I had a great like physical therapist that helped me through it. And my parents, obviously, and my family were all there for me. Um, everyone was super supportive. And so I think like having that motivation to get back on the court for my senior year um, was really big for me. And I think that's what got me through it honestly and my sister my youngest or my younger sister um she was coming in that year as a freshman so I really wanted to play with her um so I think yeah just the people helping me through it um and motivating I think that was a big reason why I got through my first injury and how do you think like you stayed confident on the court like once you came off of that I think a lot of times like it can be scary to come back from injury like that yeah for sure um I don't know. I think, I think I just, I had like a built-in like confidence inside of me. And so I don't think when I tore my ACL that that wasn't like a confidence, like decrease for me or anything. Like I, I felt supported by my teammates and by my coaches. Um, so, you know, when I was rehabbing hard, like that was what I was doing at the time. My teammates were practicing I was rehabbing I was just trying to get back on the court to be with them. So I think I never really lost confidence. Um, so, yeah. And I know your sister is going to be playing with you this year. How excited are you for that? Yeah, I'm really excited. Um, my sisters and I are pretty close. So, you know, when she committed to St. Mary's, like I was thrilled. I just, I love having her here. Um, she's actually rehabbing as well. We have bad knees in our family. <laughs> she's coming off a torn ACL right now, but um, she's doing great in her rehab. And it's nice having her there with me to have someone to, um, an extra, you know, support um, for me to support her. And we work well together. So it's been great. Yeah. And lastly, do you have any advice for girls looking to pursue basketball at a high level? Yeah. I mean, like everything I've been saying, I think if, um, you have a goal and a dream to play basketball in college. I think um, doing everything you can, starting early, working hard, just getting reps up, practice, um, and just make sure that you, like, you enjoy and love what you're doing. Um, you know, that's the most important thing. Like basketball at the next level is super like time consuming. And it's just like, that's what you're doing with your life right at that moment. So I think just enjoying it and loving it um, and not getting tired of it is super important. So, yeah. Yeah, that's great advice. Well, thank you so much and good luck for you and your sister next season. I hope that you recover well. Thank you so much, Mahi. This is great.